In this video, we're going to be talking about magnets and magnetic fields. There are two types of magnets. We have permanent magnets and induced magnets. A permanent magnet has always got a magnetic field. The magnetic field around this permanent bar magnet has this particular shape. And you can see that all the magnetic field lines are pointing from the North Pole to the South Pole. If two permanent magnets are placed next to each other, the magnetic fields will interact. And this will either result in attraction or repulsion. When a magnetic material such as nickel, cobalt or iron is placed near a magnetic field, the magnetic field that they are placed near to will induce a magnetic field in the material. Here's an example. On the left we have a bar magnet. On the right we have a magnetic material. The bar magnet has a magnetic field. Our magnetic material is close to it. All of a sudden, the magnetic field of the bar magnet will now induce or create a magnetic field in our material. Also notice how the closest side has the exact opposite pole to the closest part of the bar magnet. We have now created an, an induced magnet. If you were to flip the bar magnet, this would also cause the magnetic field in the induced magnet to change as well. Induced magnets can change their magnetic field based on how close they are to the bar magnet. So remember that the magnetic orientation of a permanent magnet never changes. Its poles are fixed. However, an induced magnet will change its poles depending on which side is closest to the bar magnet. An induced magnet is also a temporary magnet. That means if you are to remove the permanent bar magnet, very quickly, the induced magnet will also lose its own magnetic field. Induced magnets can be magnetically soft or magnetically hard. All this means is how long it takes for them to lose their magnetic field. So if it's magnetically soft, that means it will lose its magnetic field very quickly if you were to remove it from a permanent magnet. If it's magnetically hard, it will take a bit longer for it to lose its magnetic field. Okay, so let's say we have a bar magnet, but we're not sure which side is a north pole and which side is a south pole. One way to figure this out is to use a compass. A compass always points south. Now, a lot of you might be confused and you think, hold on, in geography, compasses point towards north. So are we using a different type of compass here? Not really. Let's look at why there's a confusion behind that. Okay, so here's a picture of the Earth. Now, over here we have the North Pole, and down there we have the South Pole. Now, remember, the core of the Earth is made of iron. And since we said that iron is a magnetic material, that means our planet has a giant magnetic field going around it. One property of this magnetic field is that it protects us from solar flares, which are outbursts of radiation from the Sun. And this is what leads to the Northern Lights. Now, another thing is, we know that magnets always have a south pole and a north pole. Well, for our planet, the magnetic south pole is up here. And the magnetic north pole is down there. So, to answer our question, compasses point north geographically, which is the same as pointing south magnetically. In other words, when we say north or south, we have to specify. So, north pole, the geographic north pole is the same as the magnetic south pole. So, going back to this, when we said that magnets point south, we actually mean south and north at the same time. But south magnetically is the same as north geographically. So, just as an example, if I can see that the compass is pointing in this direction, what does that tell me? It tells me that this is the south magnetic pole and north geographically. So going back to our original question, you've got a bar magnet, however you're not sure which side is the north pole and which side is the south magnetic pole. To do this, we're going to grab a compass and move it around the bar magnet. So after moving the compass around the bar magnet, if you follow the arrows, you can see that it's pointing towards the south pole and pointing away from the north pole. Therefore, Y must be the south magnetic pole for this particular bar magnet. Now be careful, 
If you move the compass too far away from this bar magnet, it will then align with the Earth's magnetic field. Another question you could be asked in your exam is to explain how you can visualize the magnetic field around a bar magnet. One easy way to do this is to sprinkle iron filings over the bar magnet. And what you'll see is that the iron filings will line up with the magnetic field and you'll get something that looks like this. Now, although this is a great way of showing the magnetic fields, which are otherwise invisible to our eyes, it doesn't really show you which side is the North Pole or the South Pole. So for that, we have to use our compass. Also remember, the reason this works is because iron is an induced magnet, so it will line up with the magnetic field of your permanent magnet. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.